What's going on, Ikru? Welcome back to the channel. I am a bit under the weather today. <laughs> Called in sick and I uh, think got the flu. Lost my taste a little bit, but here we are doing some kind of a um, little bit of testing with a phase runner. checking out kind of like the miles per hour we're trying to get our goal is like to get maybe 40 miles per hour uh, anything above that would be great but um, I just plugged this puppy in did some fine-tuning a little bit so we're testing the top speed right now my speedometer here says 31 miles per hour here only says 23 up here it says 33 miles per hour, so that's good. Hmm. Earlier, it was showing about 37 miles per hour was the, the most I can get. I don't really know much how to tune uh, the phase runner because you're not only tuning the phase runner, it's so complicated. You're also tuning the, um, the cycle analyst. You know, in most e-bikes, you're only tuning the controller, but on this one, you're tuning the cycle analyst and the uh, phase runner, which is kind of like double work sometimes. Um, but just a really quick look. I didn't spend a lot on this kit. Um, I got things separately. Um, I got the phase runner separately. I got the cycle analyst separately, and I bought a 72 volt. It's only like a 20 amp uh, capacity, and it only and it also only goes about 60 to 70 uh, peak amp on the discharge. Not, you know, I'm not fully upgrading it to like go over 50 miles per hour. I was really only hoping to get maybe 40. Um, earlier, my map said 37 miles per hour. Um, but then I did some fine tuning more. I kind of lowered some settings, so now I guess I'm only getting 33 miles per hour. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't think this is the best way to go about upgrading the cycle analyst. Um, it doesn't do much, to be honest. It doesn't really do much. Um, you know, you're spending hundreds of dollars, close to a thousand even. There's just other ways, like the Sabaton controller that goes up to like 150 amp discharge, phase current. Um, so those would probably be the, the better route. This is just like things that I've accumulated in the past months, like again, little by little, that I just got good deals on. So I thought I would try it. Um, yeah, we're just here testing it out. It is torquier though. Um, and yeah, like, look, we're going about 35, 70 amp settings that I have it on. And uh, the motor is obviously, I still have it at 2000 watt limit. And the magnet pole pair, uh, I believe was, I have it on 32. And then I just let it auto tune everything else. Like you can see, I don't even have my, my, um, handlebar grip on my left side because everything is just draft mock-up um, I even spent hours on this on the uh, on the Ariel Rider Exos 52 volts the triangle battery actually fit the Ariel Rider X class um, really well like it filled up the empty space um, but for that I couldn't get the magnet pull pairs either. Um, I've been asking Ariel Ryder for it for like quite some time now. They never really reply. I've asked them over over a year actually to what is their motor specs. They wouldn't tell me. They don't really know on Instagram I guess. I'm just looking at all my display here, see if I have any errors. 
Looks like I don't have any errors. I can't really recommend the phase run, the phase runner cycle analyst setup on a Super 73 because the phase runner, the max amp on it is 90 amp. And even if I get close to that, I think I would only get around 40 miles per hour. If, if 40 miles per hour is what you're aiming for, then then yeah, go ahead and spend hundreds of dollars on the phase amp, I mean the phase runner and the cycle analyst. But if your goal is like 50 miles per hour and plus, you would need the Sabaton controller for sure. And then a, a really strong battery that can, that can um, a, a really high powered battery that can handle that, that much um, current. Again, this is just uh, some test things that I'm finding out. If you already have a phase runner in your Super 73, you don't really see it often because there's a reason why, right? Um, there's better options out there, which is the Sabaton controller. Oh, and by the way, this is the stock motor of Super 73 RX. I didn't change the motor. I guess I could, maybe if I was to change the, the motor too. Um, I just like that the phase runner is a plug and play kind of situa uh, situation. It's an L10 connector. So you can just, uh, we're using the, we're using the stock motor on the Super 73 and also the Aerial Rider XS 52 volts. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this setup yet, but um, yeah, I just wanna get a feel of the motor. Yeah, it's not hot at all. Kind of fits this nicely. I mean, I would put the triangle this way up here, but I have like I have like lightings here, the, the wirings that are kind of in the way right now. But again, we're just in testing phase. Stay tuned for more content. Cycle analyst, it's really so technical. There's so much things you could change on it and fine tune to your liking. 37 miles per hour was the most, the fastest it would go. Um, to me, that's not really an upgrade from the stock settings, which is 32 miles per hour. Um, but that's going to be in today's quick blog, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more content. Check out the useful links in the description below for additional discounts on your e-bike. This is e-bike Adventure signing out. See you guys in the next one. Peace.